Hachette Audio presents The Space Barons Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and the quest to colonize the cosmos Written by Christian Davenport Read by Will Collier Includes a Mac and PC PDF of bonus material Dedication for Heather All there is to thinking is seeing something noticeable, which makes you see something you weren't noticing, which makes you see something that isn't even visible. Norman MacLean, A River Runs Through It. Introduction Touchdown They caught their first glimpse of it at 25,000 feet and falling fast. Normally, a rocket dropping like a bomb would be cause for panic. But instead, the 400 or so people gathered in the employee lounge at Blue Origin's headquarters outside Seattle were thrilled to see the booster plummeting toward Earth. Estimate 10 seconds to engine start, the flight controller announced. The employees, mostly engineers, were packed in, watching the rocket in free fall on a giant screen. Some had their hands over their mouth. Others sat forward with fists clenched. Mostly, they were silent, waiting for what would happen next. Engine start, said the flight controller. We have thrust. At that, the employees started cheering wildly. Just minutes before, on this morning, three days before Thanksgiving in 2015, the engine had fired to lift the rocket off the launch pad at Blue Origin's West Texas test site flying it faster than the speed of sound past the 62-mile threshold that's considered the edge of space. But now that the rocket was falling back, the thrust had the opposite effect. It was slowing the rocket down, preventing it from slamming into the ground and exploding. Soon the rocket's altitude was 2,000 feet, then 1,000, 500. As the ground came into view, Fire from the engine kicked up a plume of dust. The employees at Blue Origin rose to their feet in unison. The rocket was under control, descending gently, like a hot air balloon coming in for a landing. 150 feet, the flight controller called out. 70 feet. 50 feet. Velocity steady. There was one last flash of the engines, a bright orange glow shining through the dust and smoke. Then it went out.